All right, a new book dives into the evolution of Fago, and this morning we're getting a brief history lesson by taking a look back at the company. I'd like to welcome the author of the book, The Rise of Fago, Stephen Seiler. Stephen, thank you so much thank for, you for joining us. Here. First of all, I mean, you have an, um, an impressive collection here. This is only a part of your Fago uh, bottle collection? About 40 out of about 350. Of all the things to collect in the world, what got you interested in Fago? Well, I was in Romeo, Michigan, and I found a Fago item, and I went to the Fago plant, and they gave me a tour and gave me information, and I met Harvey Lipsky, mm -hmm. and I decided to start collecting Fago stuff. Okay, and, and you've done a great job. You were saying that you have one of the most complete and largest collections of Fago bottles around? Probably second after Mike and the bottle club I belong to. Okay, so... It's certainly one of the most complete. Tell us a little bit about the book. If people are interested in the history of Fago because it is so tied to Detroit, what are people going to find? Well, I did it on the history of the founders when they mm -hmm. from the old country coming to the new country, um, about their family, um, Detroit. And as you can tell, there's the Star of David on there. So there's a lot of Jewish history and Detroit Jewish history okay. in the book. Well, wonderful. Now, we, you have an impressive collection here. I was, which is the, old, the oldest bottle, and how old is it, and what does this all mean to you? Well, this one's about 1909. And, um, and when was, was Fago started? 1907. 1907. So from the very beginnings of the company? Very beginnings of the company. My son calls it not a hobby. He calls it an obsession. Okay. My son okay. Jeremy Seiler and Andrew Seiler, they would go out and help me find stuff when they were growing up because I've been collecting for over 20 years. And what does this mean to you? Why do you collect? What drives you? It's hard to find Fago stuff. Mm -hmm. You can find Coke stuff anywhere just about, but Fago stuff, it's impossible. And, you know, Coke stuff can be pretty pricey. Where does Fago come in? Uh, more with, expensive. More expensive than Coke. You go online and there's so little of it out there, most of the stuff, that you, uh, you pay top dollar for it. So you really have to uh, hunt around. Now I see, you know, obviously we have some cans, uh, some bottles here, but these cans, tell us a little bit about these cans, and these are unopened and then clearly that makes them more valuable? Well, the thing is they were open from the bottom side. I collect oh. only the better stuff that has, uh, that's, you know, that looks good. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And so can I pick one of these up? Oh, sure, go ahead. Okay, you know, you never want to touch without asking. So open from the bottle size. So this is Caribbean Cola and yeah, a couple of little uh, they came holes with a down bunch there. Of, they yeah. came up with a bunch of theme cans in that period of time in the 70s. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got quite a few of them. I threw a few in there. And uh, there's other ones like they had a, with the face cans, or bottles and cans. They took average people and put them in the, um, on the labels. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the, the book is available on Amazon if people are interested? Yes, it's on Amazon. All right. And uh, how has, uh, what's the reception been like? And what does the company think of the book? Well, they've given me, inf they gave me information uh, leading into this, but a few things I found that were not exactly the history that, you know, some, the original founders laid it down because uh, I put in the book, Who Taught Them How to Make Pop? Okay. And uh, it's a, a family relative that was a brother-in-law. Okay, so there's a lot in there. And I love the fact that it is tied to Detroit history because there's so many institutions that uh, are always connected and grow. And if you mention Fago anywhere in the, in the country, they know you're from Michigan. There's a lot of surprises in history here, even things that go back to the state Supreme Court on court hearings and stuff. All right. Uh, Stephen Seiler, thank you so much for thank joining us. The much. book is The Rise of Fago. We'll be right back.